Hey guys, Mitty here. For the next 4 classes prepared for today, I will review Warlord, Kunoichi, Eclipse and Windwalker. You can find the past videos in the description. Warlord received few buffs to his passive to fit the meta. And finally, great charge skill to add up to the lack of mobility in field. Can say it made him excel in something. He is similar to Berserker, but lacks in everything compared to him. Two arms passive gain a buff increasing PvP damage reduction by 15% and monster damage by 15%, and also a 20 MP recovery every time the passive triggers. Skill Conduit's flow received a change that added an extra attack, increasing the damage dealt from 100% to 200%, transforming the full cast of the skill into a 7 hit combo but still low damage, no mobility and long cast. At last a great buff was given to skill Backstab, when in simple form gains reduced cooldown by 2 seconds when using the skill. While with the new flow added spirit, the skill transforms into a charge that can be extended with additional 60 mana, but the super armor immunity is disabled during additional charge. Last hit of the charge inflicts knockback. Similar to Berserker, but easier to control. In about 10 days, Warlord should receive another buff. It will be reviewed as soon as it will go live. Second class balance to be recapped is Kunoichi. Kunoichi received many great buffs, making her even more deadly than before. Her passive was fit into a meta that gained maximum HP damage, making Kunoichi one of the best high CP players assassin. Not only that, her nuke was also enhanced and reworked some immunities for Arena. First skill to receive a change was Shadow Plume. Immunity was disabled for Arena and moved to another skill, Viper Strike. Reign of Steel received increased distance and a debuff that reduces mana on hit. Viper Strike received Super Armor in Arena and a new flow, Shadow Attack transforming first part of the attack into a 2-hit combo with dash and kunai throw, but increasing skilled cooldown by 2 seconds. Touch of Death received a new flow, Shadow Clone, allowing to double the damage, HP recovery and seal stack, but decreasing skill charges by 1 and disabling the small dash. Also, in latest patch on Korean server, the damage of the flow was reduced to 180 from 200%. Smokescreen received an ability to go into stealth in a desired direction. And at last, the passive Art of the Ninja received 15% PvP damage reduction for 10 seconds when consuming a seal. Also added a buff increasing all skill damage by up to 20% for up to 20 seconds when consuming up to 3 stack of the seal. At last, the effect Severe Blood applied on hit now deals up to 300 fixed damage plus 3% of opponent maximum health per second for 3 seconds. Latest patch on Korean server nerfed the maximum health damage from 3 to 2% at third stage. All these changes boosted well Kunoichi PvP effectiveness and raised her DPS PvP stats at a new level. As an example, her combo damage from a 16,000% damage was increased to 23,000% damage, and that's without the passive bleeding that can go up to 1,500 fixed damage and plus 10% maximum health damage per combo. Can say it made her unstoppable in PvP, but now she is a big threat for anyone. Another class that received game-breaking buffs was Eclipse. Similar to Kunoichi, Eclipse gained insane utility and damage buff for her kit, and managed to win high places in damage ranking. First skill, Quillen Release received super armor in field, adding up another immunity on a great passive damage skill. Sweep received range increase. The best change was implemented to the skill Lunge. First of all, it can be chained with itself. Secondly, it gained an amazing passive reducing its cooldown by 3 seconds on hit. Since the skill has 6 seconds cooldown and 2 charges, this passive allows Eclipse to cast the skill 3 times in a row without delay. And due to the third buff that increased skill damage by extra 24%, the 3 cast combo deals extremely high damage. 
Repost skill attack range was also increased and the damage was increased by 12%. Star Shatter's flow was changed to transform the skill into a 2 cast attack with a 150% damage increase to overall damage, but will be only used for PvE. At last, her passive Star Heart was changed to apply invincibility during preparation of a skill boosted with Star's Breath, instead of 10% evasion chance. Sadly, preparation time is about 0.5 seconds, so don't expect Eclipse to be as invincible as it might seem at first. All in all, the super buff on launch raised Eclipse combo damage to an outstanding 22,000% damage, which beats all the records for classes with no grab in their kit. But compared to Kunoichi buffs, don't expect too much from Eclipse. She still remains a vulnerable melee class that will most of times suffer in mass fights. But in arena PvP, she can still be a big threat for most classes. At last for the last class for today recap video will be a fast one and the worst class in game so far, Windwalker. The class that needs strong buffs and big changes for some reason receives always nothing but crumbs. Windwalker gained only two more buffs, Wind Slicer's flow, additional attack gained a slightly increased range, and her passive, Guidance of the Wind, gained a buff that increases maximum critical hit damage by 30% instead of 20%. Can't add anything to it, all it rests to Windwalker is to cry for being the least loved class by developers. And that was it for the recap of the changes for today's four classes. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. That was Smitty, have a nice day!